would say is when the little kids get off the bus Thursday morning because literally buses are lined up from Breeze Terrace all the way down to Regent Street um, from Old University. So it's really neat to see thousands of little kids running around and enjoying themselves. I've been doing Rube Goldberg machines in physics on a small scale uh, during the year because I love to get out of the textbook and have them show their creative minds while using scientific principles um, to accomplish a somewhat silly task. But it, that's the, the task isn't the important thing. It's, it's uh, applying science um, as creatively as they can um, and getting it to work. Because uh, it's, it's quite a journey to going from on paper to having, actually having a finished project. It's the best university in the state for this type of thing, so I want to show it off. That's why I bring kids to Expo. So the kids come in smiling. You can talk about the highlights of your work, because every once in a while, while you're researching, you, uh, you may have some lowlights, but you can talk about what's the good about it, how it's applied, and who's going to appreciate it. And that, you know, like you were once where they are, and they can be where you are during research um, in math and science, not to be discouraged by the fact that a lot of these um, and stuff that's maybe difficult, but you can do, you can get through it with, with the help of whoever who may help you and actually do some fascinating things. You kind of explain the properties like why the liquid nitrogen, why that changes the properties inside the material. You can kind of see it's kind of boiling in there. Science and math is one of those fields that are underrepresented in schools, so when these kids come to see these events, they can get really super excited about science and math, and maybe it'll inspire them to pursue that field. Uh, we're showing them a bunch of different devices and inventions that biomedical engineers have come up with that are sort of improving a lot of the medical treatments that they might be more familiar with than the device. We have uh, some different examples of images taken from x-rays and things like that. We also have some cutting-edge biomaterials that are thermoresponsive, so they behave differently in hot and cold. And a lot of medical devices, things that they've seen in hospitals but don't really know what they're doing. We're showing them how they work and why we use them. Somehow I came across this idea of ocean energy. Ocean waves are so energy dense and it's amazing that they haven't taken off yet. I wanted to get the word out on ocean energy. Here's my chance to show them that there is actually a system being developed and, and to tell them, yes, I worked with a company that does this. That was my interest in getting this one into Expo. definitely a great way to develop your own skills, make yourself more marketable to anything, research, graduate school, job market, um, and just to make yourself a better person in general.